in. It's goddamn O'Brien. Let me say, uh, Metolius Springs, Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, bro. Yeah, these caught a break. That useful. I know. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. But with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and. Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Oh, Brian, I've got some questions for you. Oh, good choice, man, good choice. Hello, Deke. This should last you for a while. Oh yeah, that's a good piece. I'll be here. All right, check back Those later, man. Kids. See you. What do they call them? Demons. Yeah. It's a whole group of them. That's all I got. Hey, man. Good to see ya. How's it going? Yippers. See ya, man. Hey. Damon. I say I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It should do it. Just Deacon. What's going on? Yo, you need a refuel? Yeah, it is hard to find fuel out there. No, no, I'll keep an eye out for more shit. See you around. Interesting. Need this. Please! Please! 
Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. What? What? Camp? There's a camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. I was done for. Holy shit! I was, I was a goner, you know? Whew. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. I just keep running. Stay off the roads. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Well, okay then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. <sighs> okay. I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. You know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, 
let's just say, no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Riding west along the old Belknap Road, ran into a bunch of crazy assholes. Almost naked, all scarred up. <laughs> How's it going, booze man? Shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, remember what you're doing? Yeah, I had Cope give me a few points. Shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Dan. See you, Booth Map. Alright, now I just gotta find some more. Yeah. Free Oregon. The truth will set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from the top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. I really need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. But Grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. A snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come round. But careful, a headless snake can still bite, especially when it ain't really dead. My grandfather would have outlived us all. Let me tell you, this is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Right, Cope. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him. And you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. That's real sporting. Uh, guess none of that shit matters now.
опять же. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample trips I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'd be a drifter in the LZ. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? Yep. Thought I heard something. This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Su su civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like... making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, refugee Nero camp. Nero protocol 2 7 states. Burning. The Everyone room was dead. Two they were slaughtered. Torn limb Nero for goddamn protocol limb. All right, two listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. Crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm going to go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't... Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're going to fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you. I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. this nest. Oh, dear. I'll come back later, finish burning out these nests. Back on track. Oh, where is it? God damn.
fresh meat. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Marauder patrol. Oh shit. <laughs> Booze man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay, get some shut eye, Booze man, I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer, real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. There, O'Brien. You son of a bitch, you better get out of here. me, O'Brien. You're on this channel. Get back to me, or I'm going to try to go. You got that? Damn it. Come on, O'Brien. Back to me. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. Worked in our supposed global utopia. Instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break. So that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country? Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now.
down the chopper. Was it the same guy the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened. Uh, I don't think she's still alive. What? No. I saw someone. No, look. I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. I don't need to find any peace. I, I gotta go, alright? Deacon out. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. <laughs> 